Hey guys, we're back. We uh, went out in a bit of a bad way last time. Kind of had to reset everything, but that's not really a problem, so considering we're only right here. Please don't fritz out when I become Legolas. Okay, it didn't. Oh gosh, I went full <laughs> I was like, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It almost fritzed out again. I was like, oh, why? You should get your disc checked out. Maybe that's the disc's fault. Yeah. No, this happened on um, another game. A couple other Ooh, games. Ooh, I can shoot you now. I can shoot you now. Oh. Gosh, I've fallen. I've fallen and I can't pew, pew. shoot you. Please shoot the uh, target now. Hold still. I want to see if you can't shoot me. Oh, that's stupid. You have perfect accuracy. You Regardless of where I am. Here, I'll aim over here. Oh, look, it works. You have to hit it again. Ah! This is one resilient group of rocks. Hey, look, dude. There's a treasure chest way up there. Do you see it? I bet I can hit it with my arrow. Oh. You're not that good enough. You're not that good enough. No, I'm not that good enough. Yes. You're not that good enough. What song is that? I I'm assuming it's called that, Not That Good Enough. No, I just totally made it. No, oh. dude. That I was parodying a Britney Spears song, actually. Oh, you've lost many respect points. Oh, how do I get them back? You don't. Oh, is this one of those instances where it's like, you'll never get those back? See, now we can go up here. Look There's at this, dude. I'm just arrowing things. Yeah, you have to be strong. Oh. You're not strong. You're weak. Oh, God. I've outgrown you. Name that movie. That it is. Yeah. One of the greatest animated films of all time. What? Uh, what? I don't say greatest. Oh, it was fun. It was a great family movie, at least. Oh, yeah. I, I prefer something. I, I like Monsters, Inc. Prefer. I liked Incredibles more than Monsters, Inc., but that's yeah. probably because I'm a comic book boss. kid, sort of. Oh, yeah. Dude, these guys just go, like, all out, like, Eskimo right here. Ha ha! He fails. I'm I'm kind of the wing, my wing. No, give me my wing. No, Tachi. Oh, he just t takes him out. <laughs> he just like stabs him in the face. No, Tachi. Have your bracelet on a bracelet. <laughs> I can't. No, no. <laughs> He's twitching out. Wait, what did he say? He's like, I fear not. What? Because because. If it's supposed to, like, drawn and... Like... I'm confused on some level. Oh, Jesus! Come here, come here, come here. I just changed my mind. I punched you. <laughs> You're, like, so <laughs> proud of it. Ah! Ah! Help! So... <laughs> oh, you helped me. Thank you. <laughs> You're like, oh, I've helped you. Oh, I was... Oh, I didn't know I was... I'll just switch characters and jump off the cliff right now. Oh, how do I do this? Because the only Legolas can do that, because he's an elf. Legolas. But, but only, you can Legolas. only you can destroy those accents and do that awesome. Whoa! I love it. Stronger, better, faster, smarter. Then you do A, then B to slam down onto the ground ones. Hey, A and then B. Oh! Oh, yeah. Gimli's way better than you. Um, and then he dies. Just like, the, just like the, all the snow he... All the snow he just dislodged collapses See, but on this him. this is the cool part. I get to pick you up and then throw you at that. Oh no, this is gonna be like Battle Block Theater, isn't it? Don't come near me! Don't come near- No, oh, no, 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 no! Too late. To apologize. Too late. Oh, I cannot- another four chord Seriously? Time. Like, you just throw me into it and it works? Yep. You have to realize, you just threw me into a mountain with enough force to shatter rock. I think I'm suffering some severe injuries. Oh, so just jumping off cliffs doesn't affect you? Yeah, no. Cliffs are no problem, but, like, seriously? Put me down. You're just like a baby. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like a big bearded baby. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! No, is that a Weezer song? Yes, that is Buddy Holly by Weezer. Ranked 499th best song of all time by Rolling Stones. Are you serious? Yes. 499th. Okay, that's all right. Because they're like... Wait, well, it's eh. a 500th. I don't know. It's a rap song, I think. Oh. Seriously, though? Like, I feel like I feel like getting on that list is great in and of itself, but, like, when you're just, like, 499th, it's like... Yeah, seriously? They, they, they're like... These are, they couldn't admit that Weezer was a good band. Why not? Because they're too... I don't know. They're just, like... Not necessarily it's such classic. A catchy, yeah, they're such a, they're such a catchy band. They just have so many catchy songs. I can I can understand why that might be an issue. I love, like I love their newest album. 
it is I'd say it's a third best song. If there are any guitarists out there, please look up Return to Ithaca and And then play it. it and then send us a video link of you playing it. So I can learn it because I've tried in so many ways to It's a really hard song. Yeah, it's not that tough. Oh shut oh, oh, up. No, 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 no. And then, like, you mean like everything beyond like the really, really insanely difficult stuff? Yeah, and then you did it. Try not to shoot me with arrows. Try not to shoot me with arrows as you like shoot at the other. Thing. Oh, jeez! That I one just was take you off and you just, <laughs> just like, like no, <laughs> just, just like this is for my chicken sandwich. And he's like, "What? You ate my chicken sandwich earlier? I am most displeased with this. I am. You are not amused." There! Here's your god dang firewood! Jeez! You, you should definitely get in character right now. Like, talk as, in, as if you're like... Gimli. And I'll talk as if I'm like... I a am Gimli. But I'm living. Kill, kill the tent. The tent is I a threat to our survival. Potatoes, taters. <laughs> That's like his most famous line. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah, no, I am Magneto! <laughs> That is not how we talk. Oh, you can build a... Using wizard magics. Suck it. <laughs> oh, you get to build like a massive catapult? Aww. Now turn the Lego so you can build them. I will. I am the Lego lasses. The Le lasses Lego? I don't know how to build You just... <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Oh, oh God. I thought I could take the shortcut and then it didn't work. You have 690 points. Uh, are you saying that's more than you? No, I'm saying that's far less. Oh, well then. Please hurry up. No, I want you dead. Hey, look, I need Gimli. No, you don't. Ugh. <laughs> it is like he's eaten something bad. Ugh. That, that, was the, that was chicken. Gimli's chicken sandwiches don't really <laughs> sit well right now. Gimli's chicken sandwiches are not sitting very well. Ugh. Oh, I get it. Oh, I can do that. Oh, by the way, um, you should look up like Lars Anderson. He's a, I think, Swedish archer, but like um, he, or, or, but he's mastered like this medieval style. He actually like went and studied actual manuscripts because like you know how in archery class you're always taught like. Put the, you're like taught to put the bow like in inside. Like you hold the you hold the bow with like your left hand and you draw with the right hand and you put the bow on the left side. Yeah. Uh, that's wrong. You actually should put the bow on the. You actually are supposed to put the arrow on the right side of the bow, because um that makes reloading easier. It makes aiming easier. It allows you to shoot uh, multiple arrows at once. Interesting. Yeah. You know. And like he's. Do and, like, you know, no, like, he, it, he, I'll just give me a minute, because, like, it gets even better. Like, um, you know that, like, 1960s Robin Hood film where, like, he shoots yeah. the arrow that was already in the bullseye? Oh, yeah, And yeah. you know how everybody's like, that is the ultimate skill test. Um, Lars Anderson can shoot a bow. He can shoot an arrow that is in, he can shoot an arrow incoming and split it in half. That is crazy. Yeah. Like, it's no movie bullcrap or anything. Like, I watched the video myself. He, he just full out did that. He do you know what, like, Olympic archers do? What? They have, they literally stop their heart so they can, uh, so it doesn't, um, affect them. So it doesn't affect, like, their yeah, so, aim? Yeah. Seriously? That is crazy. Like, they just stop their heart. Yeah, or they slow it down, at least, so it doesn't... Oh, well, yeah, I suppose so, yeah, but, like... Like, um, let's see, what else can he do? He can, like, catch opposing... He can, like, catch an enemy's arrows and send them back at them. Wait, um, what? Yeah, like, Lars Anderson, he just, like... Like, an arrow comes and he grabs it. Just like, I'm sorry, what? What was that? I can't hear you over the sound of how awesome I am. Yeah, that's stupid he, he, good. Yeah. Like, you can just kill every... Like, you don't need a gun. Yeah, he can, um, shoot 12 arrows in, like five seconds or something crazy like that. He can shoot multiple arrows at once. And Nick's just like, I am that man. Lord I man. am Lars Anderson. <laughs> he just like takes out a bow and arrow and like shoots down like seven birds. Like, <laughs> like Oh no, he can do more than that. Like he's, 
he can beat most people who like do he can beat the best archer masters in fire rate by like half by like twice as much how old is this guy he looked uh in the video he looked like 40s oh okay i'm like if this guy's like seven i'd like to him. yeah i hate child prodigies no uh, usually child prodigies actually don't actually end up being like they usually get like they die young or something oh really but, like it's not like, or they jump off a cliff like Legolas does all the time. <laughs> like, they're just like, I'm done with life. I'm too good at, like, playing the piano. No, so. no, but, like, um, uh, like, let's see, what else did he do? Um, oh, yeah, th he had this whole thing where he would just, like, throw objects at, like, he was just sitting down and he would just, like, throw objects into the air and, like, hit them. So, like, he did it with a basketball, and then he did it with a tennis ball, and then he did it with a pop tab. What? Yeah. Like, there's a slow motion replay. He did it with a pop tab. I'm not BSing you at all. Look it up. He's, I, I will now. He's I amazing. Will. Uh, he can also hit the same target multiple I like it. So we're building the tunnel. We couldn't go through that tunnel before. You need to have the door. Yeah. Like, that's lame. One does not simply go in without him. Why couldn't I just, like, fall and guide my fall? You should come down here because I may need to be given. Oh. Dude. Well, the door wasn't working for me. But oh, like, let's see. Lame. Oh yeah, he also had this thing where like somebody threw a basketball up at him, and he stuck like three arrows in it before it hit the ground. What? Yep. I mean, did you see that one Mythbusters where they like, where they? Uh, they like tried to do the thing with the arrow. Yeah, where, where they like see. And they like failed. No, they like try to see which is better, like a gun or a. Or a bow and arrow. Yeah, or something like that. And they ended up. Uh, the guy could. Oh wait, no, it was um. Could a knight? Is it bad to bring a? Knife to a gunfight. Yeah, and the, but it, but they use a bow and arrow. Um, so they had this like master bow and arrow guy. It might it might have been Lars Anderson for all I know. But he, oh. no, no, they, they brought in this. They had um this master uh, knife fighter. Knife fighter, like he was like a real like serious dude about it, and it was like really cool. And um, he got and he couldn't even get two arrows off before this guy sprinted all the way at him. And um, two arrows off. Yeah, and disarmed him. You could barely get two arrows. Wait, the gun, the knife fighter, and bow and arrows. No, the knife fighter ran at Adam Savage at full speed, um, to to stop him, and that's what, and stopped him before he could even get two shots off. And like with a bow and arrow. Yeah, before he could get two shots off with a bow and arrow, and this the and he started like with the first arrow drawn, and could and, and he barely couldn't got get a off. second. He could barely get it off. Like it was like doink. Like it wouldn't have done it. Yeah. Wow. Like it would have. Yeah, Give no, if you, like, if you, like, completely devote yourself to, like, any sort of martial art or something, you can do some really friggin' insane crap. Speaking oh, of, like... Oh, like, let's just, like, hey, guys, I've been <laughs> up there this entire time. Oh, I see you two have built a tent, and you've been down here by yourselves for God knows how long. I feel like... But, like, um... This part is just so cold. I don't, like... Yeah, I don't like this. It's kind of just bad. Yeah. But, like, I remember another article I read, it was just, like, child prodigies, people who would, like... And it was actually entitled, Child Prodigies So Good They'll Make You Feel Bad About Yourself. Yeah. One of them was a kid who, by the age of 12, was a full-blown uh, samurai. Like, he mastered... That's crazy. He mastered, like, every samurai. I'd, I'd like source. to be a samurai. Would you? So I could, like, be a real-life fruit... Oh, gosh! Did... did lightning just strike a mountain... And anger. That was like Emperor Palp. No, that was. Kind that was of like Emperor Palp no, being no, like. He's like he's summoning his Count Dooku skills from before. He's like, he's like I'm bored. <laughs> he's just like rah 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 rah. rah. Just, Get me out of this cold stuff. Anyway, you were saying they're just having a conversation in the middle of this extremely deep snow. As someone's trying to. <laughs> and Gimli's just like, "Hey guys, I'm waist deep in this. Just keep talking. It's okay." Oh, save me. Uh, anyway, you were saying you want to be a samurai. Yeah, because I'd be like, you'd be real life fruit ninja, man. Cause like toss some apples up and then like, <laughs> like, well, except Harakiri. I love how we instantly came down here. Like, there's no no explanation to. How no, we got. there's just that. Like, we did this whole level to get up there. I'm like, oh yeah, two seconds we came back down. Whatever. It was okay. I remember reading the book in this part because I actually read the book before. Because I'm cool like that. I didn't read the books or watch the movies. You you read the book. 
Oh yeah, I did for AR. Yeah, we have this thing in school called accelerated reading. It's really dumb. It's, it's pretty lame. It's we did like we, 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 we did, but then you graduate, but then you get to high school, and then you're like, thank God, I don't have this anymore. Yeah, we don't need to read. But I, like, I don't know how to read. But like, if you like this video, if you have AR in your school, and then yeah, all seven people, and then comment hashtag the struggle is real, because y'all know AR sucks. It was like um. For those of you who don't know what it is, AR stands for Accelerated Reading. It wasn't accelerated at all. It was not. You didn't need to try, really, but it was... And like, and, like, they would go through every book in the library, nonfiction or fiction or whatever, and they just, like, assign That's it... a lot of money back there. And they just, like, assign it a random, like, point value. They were just like, oh, yeah, like, a comic book, six points. And, like, uh, Nicholas Nickleby by Charles Dickens, which I actually read, by the way, on a bed with Alex Sargent. Um, I love that. With a bed with... Oh, oh, oh yeah. By the way, uh, I think I can get through this. Skrblue. Ah, oh, I can't glitch through it. Darn. Anyway, so I I read the book on a dare, and that thing was worth eighty points. That's crazy. Yeah, it was my AR goal for the whole thing. And then my teacher was, and then my teacher, and then my teacher, who must name remain unnamed for the sake of just like not being a jerk. Oh, yeah. Um, I finished that, and that was supposed to be my first critical. For those of you who don't, still don't understand, like, the basic concept, the books are worth points. You have to set yourself a goal at the beginning of each, like, quarter of the school year, and you have to meet that goal, and that's, like, what, 10% of your grade or something? Something stupid like that. It's a worth, fair amount. It's worth, like, a big amount of your grade. So, like, I remember I, like, read Nicholas Nickleby, just destroyed it, got my goal for, like, the quarter... And then she called me back and she's like, the fact that you finished it this quickly means that you weren't trying hard enough and you need to put in more work. You need to have a higher AR goal. I was like, yeah, what? I always hated it because, like, if you were, like, pretty good at it, like, you could, like, get a lot of points, but then you just ran out of books. Like, then you had to read, like, yeah. crazy books, like, just, like, The Complete Works of Shakespeare. Yeah, right? like, I remember... With 8,072 points. Like, Lord, no. Hey, look, a save point. Oh, yes, huh? Um, we'll get to that in a minute. But, like, but, like, um... I remember, like, uh, I made the mistake of reading all the Harry Potter books in one year. Oh, yeah, I did that, too. And, like, um, but, like, it was awesome, because, like, I remember, um, the, the teacher that we had before that, she, like, would calculate your average and everything and, like, how close you were, and I was, like, 1,129% of my goal. It was what? awesome. Yeah, it was an insane amount. But it was, and it was awesome. And then, like, I got there, and I was like... Oh, you're good at reading, and you wanted it out of the way so you can be more efficient. Let's punish you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do that. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. AR kind of sucks. I forgot that for a while. I forgot that, that You forgot that it existed? You sort of, like, repressed it? Yeah. Like, don't want to remember this. Yeah, it was dark times, dark times. Yeah. yeah. More on these dark times next time on Game Global.